Hey everyone, it's Friday the 23rd of February and it's 6 o'clock in the evening. Right, today's video. I've been shopping on eBay again, so I've got another job lot of laptops. In fact, I've got two here. And a desktop computer. I'm still waiting for two desktops to arrive. But I'll do a separate video on those when they arrive. Um, anyway. So, yeah. We'll see what powers up here. Um, I know for a fact I can't power up three of these laptops because I don't have power supplies for them. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Let's get right... Pardon me. Get right into it, shall we? So, I need to... Adjust camera. So these two on the top here I bought as a pair as spares or repairs on eBay. Now, I'm going to grab power supply, which is. I tell you, I've had nothing but grief from power cables and things today. So I'm just going to plug this one in. Um, I threw it on the floor, didn't I? Think. No, that's not the one. That's the one. Comes with a free dustpan, apparently. Get off. Seriously, why is it with cables today? Or is it just because I'm getting too frustrated with them? That's probably the case, isn't it? That's not actually the one. I need a figure out cable. That's the one. I'll get there eventually. So power these two up. So they are both exactly the same. HP Omnibooks. Um, and they actually, apparently, they shipped with uh, Windows NT Workstation 4. And I have got a disc for that. Problem is, I don't know how to install it onto this. Because... There's no external CD-ROM drive. My USB one isn't being recognised. Um, yeah, so that sounds a bit rough. That fan actually, they both sound a bit rough. And the other thing is, even though I think I've still got the hard drive plugged into this one, yep, got a hard drive plugged in, but it's not recognising it in the BIOS. At least the keyboard works on this one. Oh, well, that's actually good. The date is a day out though, but the time is spot on, so it's, it's keeping time. System devices. See, you can't click on it. The only thing I can click on is removable device in the boot section. And it just comes up a floppy drive. Which isn't much use because I do not have Windows NT workstation on the floppy disk and I haven't got an external floppy disk drive, I don't think, not anymore. Um, the internal hard disk, none. And for some reason, it's not recognised. And I've tried several drives. It's the same issue with the other one. In fact, out of the two, this is the better one, cosmetically. They've both got this screen hinge missing, the left one. Yee, hit the button. <laughs> Put it into sleep. Um, yeah. <coughs> I'll just show you what the other one does. Or well, doesn't do. For a moment there, I thought I could hear a siren in the distance. Which is a bit worrying because I've just heard a load of kids screaming out there. So there's number one. It's got this sticky stuff on there. I don't know, this might have been a business laptop. So there might have been like a business tag or something on there for security. That's since been removed. Okay, so... This did have um, one of its screen hinges hinge covers. That must have been the one I picked up off the floor earlier, which is up here, but it's now got both missing. 
But yeah, I know that one is here because I picked it up off the floor. In fact, it's crumbled. <laughs> There's the remains of it. <laughs> now this one's going to be a bit loud because this will beep. It could be because the keyboard is um, not working properly. There we go, the screens are a bit dark. I don't know if there's a brightness control on here. There usually is. You usually press... Uh, I'm going to assume that missing key is the function key. Maybe not. Can't find the... Let me look on the other one. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's the function key. But for some reason, not all the keys are working. See, the arrow keys aren't working. F1 to get into BIOS works, or F2, I think it is on this one. But arrow keys don't. Oh. And I've just managed to change the language. Whoops. <laughs> so yeah, this key's a bit hit, the keyboard's a bit hit and mess on this one. And it didn't actually beep either. Yesterday when I was powering this up, it was making this god awful beeping. And quite a lot of it. It's actually got a design for Windows 2000 sticker on here as well. They both have. Yeah, they power up to BIOS just as described. Now, it seems like the batteries do hold a bit of charge as well. Now, how come something this old is still holding some charge? I don't know how good it will hold it, but down here, I've got things like this much newer Advent. Battery's dead as a doornail. Um, I've got an Acer down there as well from the other job lot. Battery is as dead as a doornail, so. <coughs> I do apologise for my coughing. It's really getting tea. It's been about a month now, on and off. Anywho, let's move on to the job lot. The second job lot I bought from the same seller. So we've got five laptops again, but this time we had a Blackberry tablet thrown in. Which is quite a thick thing, actually. I don't know if it still works or anything. I don't know how you charge it. There's like a couple of different USB sockets on there. And this bloody thing was thrown in there as well. I don't know if it actually is going to work or do anything. It's just one of them portable DVD players. And give it to the kids on a long trip and hopefully keep them quiet. <coughs> Not really my cup of tea, that thing, but hey ho, that's what you get when you buy job lots. Now, these two on top are the main reason I actually wanted this particular job lot. Because I do like IBM ThinkPads, or in this case, the later Lenovo ones. Now these, I don't know if these are both i5s, but I think this one is. Now this one's an i3. I've got a few bits missing underneath, got the hard drive missing, some RAM missing. But other than that, you can't see any damage on the screen. All the keys are present. We've even got a fingerprint reader on this one. Dum dum, move the camera. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. Yeah, we've got the fingerprint reader, this is all good. And as I was saying, but you couldn't see. <laughs> Hard drive missing, the RAM's all missing, and the covers are missing as well. Looks like someone has just harvested that for some... The RAM and the hard drive. They've done the same with this one, but I don't have the, that type of power supply, so I'm going to have to try and find one. Now, in my cupboard of laptops, I have got another couple of these. Um, but I don't know if they work. I actually got those several years ago now, called way before the you-know-what virus hit. Um, 
This is the i5. And I've never tried them because I, well, I put them up in the cupboard and kind of forgot about them until I got these. So yeah, I'm going to get a power supply. Fingerprint read on this one. This one looks pretty clean as well. The screen doesn't look damaged. It's going to need a damn good clean. And if it does work, I want to try and find replacement panels for them as well. And someone's stolen the Wi-Fi card out of this one. That doesn't matter because I've got a spare one right there that I took out of that other laptop in the other video. The dead one. So there are two uh, Lenovo ThinkPads. Next up, HP. I can't remember the model number, hang on. It is an HP Pavilion DV1000. And it took me a while to realise that I actually had one of these. I don't think I've got it anymore. In fact, I'm pretty certain I, do, um, I don't have it. Um, that's a very worn out sticker on there. But this is like one of their media laptops because it's got all the DVD control buttons up there. And in the side, if I pop it out, We've got a little remote control. My one had that as well. What is it with these buttons? You can never... Ah, so you have to take it out to do it. Right. Now, I don't know why, I want to get to my uh, laptop adapters which are in the box on the floor and I've piled all the laptops on top. Because I need an 18 and a half volt adapter. I know which one I need. It's just a case of trying to find it. Can't miss it because the end of the cable is all frayed. There it is. There's a siren. There's two sirens. I guarantee they will be police. Right, um, I need one of them cloverleaf cables that I had a minute ago. Here we go. I'm going to that one for a moment. And that's what I mean by damaged cable. I need to just a, keep adjusting the bloody camera, don't I? There we go. So. And the battery does hold a bit of charge on this one as well. This, I think, has got a keyboard error. And someone's actually installed Windows Vista on this. And surprisingly, it works. <laughs> See, it's both. It's boating, it's booting. Now I've got another HP behind it, which is basically the same as that, but it's got 2000 in the uh, model number rather than 1000. And it does actually look rather different. Yeah, something 2000. The model number's slightly different. Um, and that's actually got. Windows Vista Ready written on it. <coughs> NVIDIA graphics as well. So I think this is, is this the media one, this black one? No, it says DV2000. First, the password protection, but I believe there is a way to get round it on this. I just can't remember how to do it. I've lost my mouse cursor. Well, there it is. It's just taking its time. 
So I guarantee if I do that, it's going to hold charge. <laughs> Let's swap these around then, let that do whatever it's going to do. There we go, we've got our little blue light on. Your socket lights up blue. This one is actually very nice, I like this one. A little key missing. But so many of these laptops lately, you know, so many of them have got keys missing. Right. Turn it on. And last one in this pile, I can't turn on because I haven't got the power supply for that one either. wondering if I should plug my removable Dell, removable, my external Dell drives I've got onto that. I believe they plug onto that. I'm going to have to find, find it up and actually check it. See if it'll recognise a drive that way. Because otherwise I'm stumped. You see there, this boots in the Windows XP. There's two different users. I've already looked at the other one. I'm not seeing anything overly personal on there, which is good. There's a bunch of programs actually. I'm not going to go digging around on there just in case. But yeah, it works. We'll see what the specs are, if anything. We can do that. I swear, every time you load control panel, that system is in a different place, every time. So it's an AMD Turian, 1.81 gigahertz. I've got a gigabyte of RAM on it. 64X2, so that's a dual core processor. I don't know if I'd want to run Vista, and this has got Wi-Fi on it as well. Let's just come up saying we've detected Wi-Fi networks. Awesome. So apart from F2 being uh, missing in action, it's a decent laptop. <laughs> it fully works. I might Google this just to see uh, what the maximum amount of RAMs is that I can put on this. It would be DDR2, wouldn't it? And I would say probably it'll either be max of 2 or a max of 4. Hopefully, as it says Windows Vista capable, it would be, or Windows Vista ready, it would be um, closer to the 4 gig side. Well, I doubt it. I mean, even cosmetically, this isn't that bad. I've actually looked on his eBay again, he hasn't got any more. <laughs> He's got some desktops, um, but they're collection only. Anyway, we've now got a median, which is actually a nice looking machine, in my opinion. Nvidia. GeForce FX graphics on it. Um, looks 100% complete. I haven't checked under here to see if there's a hard drive or anything. I don't even know where the hard drive would be. You've even got a CF card reader there. Compact flash. I'm not sure what that was. I think that's another... Yeah, two different other card um, memory cards. I've got a blank in the um, PCI MCIA slot. One USB 2 port on the back. Two USBs on the side there. You, but unfortunately, I do not have that power supply. I know for a fact I haven't got one like that. So, yeah. I wonder, how the fudge, where is the hard drive on this? 
I bet you've actually got to take the whole thing apart to get to it. So, let's just pull the covers off. What's up in the door, number one? Nothing, because I can't get the bloody thing off. How do you... We'll never know, because I can't get it off, and I can't be bothered to play around with it for uh, right this minute. I'll have a look on eBay and see if I can find a power adapter that will fit that. I think the chances are going to be pretty slim, though. I mean, I don't even know what the four pins are, otherwise I could have slapped together my own one, but... Never mind. Right. Dust all sorts on it. Put that down here as one out of the way. And those. And I'm going to unplug this out of the way. Just so I can clear a bit of space on here, that's all. Right. So me, my infinite wisdom, decided to put an offer in on this thing, which was sold as uh, untested spares or repairs. And that is literally what the description said, and that's all it said. It didn't say anything else. Now, I will say, I have already been playing around with this one, hence why this cover was off. Um, because it was totally dead. Um, well, I did test the power supply, and that tested fine. Which actually reminds me, I've got one more item to show you. I forgot to show it earlier. Um, yeah, that tested fine. So I thought the issue was with this power button. Nope. Tried a different power button, still nothing. Um, tried the motherboard. Well, I thought, it's got to be the motherboard, it can't be anything else. So I took the motherboard out, couldn't get it to do anything, tried another board, actually got this to power up on another board. Um, and then when I had that motherboard on the worktop, I thought, could it really be the BIOS battery? I don't know what made me think of it, I thought, could a totally dead BIOS battery on this particular motherboard cause it to not power on? So I put a brand spanking new one in, going under the assumption that the original one was just going to be, you know, as dead as a dodo. Swap that, and would you believe it? It bloody worked. Um, the only thing that is not original on this is the processor fan, because as nice as this one looks, it don't sound very healthy. <laughs> um, so, I chose to swap so hopefully when I hit this big old button there, yep. Now this has got a secret on this front as well. When I showed this, or a photo of this, uh, in the other video, I thought from the photo that was like a coaxial an antenna socket. It's not, it's a key. Because this is a hot swap hard drive caddy. I've now got two of these. Because on one of the old machines that I scrapped yonks ago, I kept the caddy for it. And this, I looked on the back of this, and instead of the um, IDE drives, you know, from the two CD drives and the other hard drive, going straight to the motherboard, they go to some sort of, I'm guessing it's an IDE driver board that's sitting on the back of this, like an IDE controller. Yeah, I'm pretty certain even the... No, actually, I think the CD drives actually go straight to the motherboard. I think it's just the hard drives that are connected to that. I haven't actually tried the floppy disk yet. I have no idea why it's just decided to do this. It didn't do that earlier. Don't run set up. I don't think I've ran set up yet because I haven't done the uh, time and date. Might be what part of the problem is. Oh, picked up the keyboard and mashed a load of keys, and now I've got that. But 
I don't know if it's doing anything. Installed, as in PCI upgrade cards, we have one Sandblaster Live, one Ethernet and one dial-up modem, and just an AGP a simple little video card. I think this might have uh, crashed when I picked that up. I'll turn off. There's no power switch on the back of the power supply, so it's delete, I think, to get in the setup, wasn't it? Nineteen ninety six to nineteen ninety nine in video call. There we go. Oh right, I need to change time and date, don't I? Oh, I remember time and date. Oh. I don't need to worry about the boot or anything like that. This is the only thing I need to worry about. Thirty two megabytes of RAM. I tried a different memory stick, which does work, because it worked on my other motherboard. Um, I just haven't got around to put it back in here yet. What do I need to use to... Plus and minus keys, so it's over here. It's 18... Tab keys, is it? I'm not far off. Time's a bit fast, that's all. There we go. 18.30, down. US layout, I suppose. Yep. That's two. F10. I should hold um, the BIOS settings because I put the brand new battery in. I don't know, is it possible for the BIOS battery, a totally dead one on some motherboards, uh, preventing it from turning on? You've done it for me a few times now, don't do it. Do this now. I suppose all I can do is just stand here and wait for it to do something. If it doesn't, then I might just swap over the uh, RAM module if I can remember what I did with it. Oh dear. Um. I just don't know what I've done with it. I can't find it. I took it out of the motherboard intentionally before I put it back in the cupboard. I thought I'd uh, just, you know, tucked it up on the worktop somewhere, but apparently not. Right. Ow. 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 Oy, I bet that's going to get stuck on there, isn't it, for some reason? The only thing I've added since last boot is this. So I'm going to try and just disconnect that again. Can I restart on the screen? I can. Because when I tried it all the other times, I didn't have that drive connected. Keep seeing the keyboard lights flash. Yeah, there we go. So that's what it was. 
maybe it's whatever that check is is just taking its time with that drive so what I'll do off camera because it might take a while I'll plug that back in and then fire this back up and I will also increase the rounds because it's actually got three dim slots on there so I could in fact it's Windows 98 isn't it so it should be able to read um, well, I say read, it should be able to accept 512 megabytes that's the wrong box of rounds Not that one. Whistle boot? Yep. Nuts. Why is it the box of rams that I always want is always the one at the bottom of the pile? It doesn't matter what order I put these in, I guarantee I'm always going to want the one right at the bottom. There we go. I believe this was a business machine. And that is why. Sheet metal workers, production engineers, manufacturers. Right where the screen damage is. Tool makers and metal stampers. I don't know if the bit it's still a business that exists. Because I haven't Googled it. <laughs> um, so I bet there's a lot of uh, information hidden here. What's going to happen? Because you should be able to hot swap these. So. Just powered up. <coughs> <coughs> My computer is down there. No, I've only got the C drive on there. It's worth a try, wasn't it? My briefcase. Probably a lot of stuff on here that I wouldn't even understand. Management, management meetings, management data, quality system, quality documents. Set up for Microsoft, what? Internet, new folder, which is empty. Shortcut to my documents, whoa. Lots of approved um, suppliers. programs. Accessories. Windows Media Player. Games. See that's the one that is missing from the fresh install I did on that desk pro. Awesome. Well apart from having to uh, get it to go because of that. I'm just going to assume it was the BIOS barrier that was just Preventing the motherboard from functioning or turning on. No idea why. I don't know if it, the um, sound card actually works because I haven't got any speakers to plug into it at the minute. Right, well, I'm going to restart. And hopefully, by doing that, that startup screen with the red scroll bar thing will come up and I'm just going to leave it to run. Oh yeah, and the last item I wanted to show you is this little device. It's a power supply um, tester for computer power supplies. That just booted up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you see you got your 20 and 24 pin connector there, you can use either. You've got an 8 and 6 pin connector there, plus your floppy drive, plus your standard 4 pin Molex, and so. So you can check 
all of them and check what the voltages are. Now I've seen a couple of YouTubers use these, that's what actually uh, inspired me to go and get one because they're not that expensive. Unfortunately this took about two weeks to get here because uh, it was in China, so you know, it came on the slow boat, <laughs> as we say. Um, yeah, um, what I've actually seen two YouTubers so far use these testers. Well, only one uses an exact one like this. The other YouTuber I watch uses a different one. But he also, when he's testing old power supplies and systems like this, because he neither of them do what I've just done. <laughs> they actually take it all apart, clean it all up, test the power supply. If it's okay, they put it back together and then test the machine. I'm stupid, I don't do that. <laughs> I just plug everything in and turn it on and see what it does. Um, and luckily in my case, it actually didn't do anything, but it's working fine. But yeah, one of these YouTubers, he uh, also connects like a couple of uh, sacrificial hard drives, as he calls them. You know, they just go and click, 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 click. And he'll just leave that running for about five minutes at least, just to see, you know, if the voltages drops on his tester or anything like that to indicate, you know, that uh, there's a problem. There we go, look, D drive now. It's working. Doesn't seem to be a lot on it. How big is the D drive actually? I know it's a Maxter because I had a look earlier because the lid fell off. <laughs> well, it's got it properties, isn't it? So it's only 20 gig. Only 52.4 megabytes used. Uh, what about C drive? That's a 20 gig as well, so it's got two 20 gig drives. Nice! I'll put the solar panel back on now. Um, which is almost toolless. I say almost because there's only one screw and then there's two like, little finger catches that you have to open up. Uh, oh, should we try that? Am I going to get as lucky as I was with the desk pro? And, uh, I buried him somewhere as well. It wouldn't surprise me. Just because I know there's data on that one. Plugged it in. Okay, my computer. It's reading it. Nah. Well, that's lucky. Two different machines, two different floppy disk drives. Not touched them, not cleaned them, not serviced them, not done anything, not changed any belts. And they're working. Now why is it, you know, something that's like 25 odd years old, still works fine. I can just buy it randomly, turn it on, whoop, it works. Modern technology, like stuff like this, only lasts a few years. I want to go back, you know, to the well, to the 90s and before, you know, when they built things to actually last longer than 10 minutes. <sighs> but no, we want people to keep buying our crap. So we'll make it last a couple of years. And then force them to go and buy another one. It's no wonder in Harry Potter they call us muggles, you know, because we're mugs. I was kind of hope <clears throat> my voice broke there. I was hoping for a, you know a project where I'd have to install Windows on. I've got a 95 disc there, so I wouldn't mind a 95 machine. But I don't want to ruin this one. <laughs> <clears throat> it's working. It's great. I love it. One thing I did have to do is actually break the lock. Well. I didn't know it was locked because I managed to pull this out with that locked. 
<laughs> so security not very good um, but to get it back in I actually had to break the little rod off all this does is just flip a little rod down that's all it does so yeah I just had to uh, dremel it off it's the only way I could get it to go back in and take it out because I haven't got key obviously so uh, it all works I've just got to figure out where those LED cables go. Dumbass here forgot to turn the power supply on for the camera so he's been filming on battery and didn't realise. And it just shut off. <laughs> uh, I would pick right when I'm about to end the video to do that. <sighs> anyway. Um, so. I've still got two desktops to arrive. They are a pair. Well, at least from the pictures, they look identical. I could only see inside one, because for some reason he didn't take a picture of the inside of the other one. And there is actually a reason why I bought them both, because I'm hoping they are both exactly the same. Which means I don't... Considering, I'm surprised no one else has actually seen it and bought it. Because they're um, what they call slot one processors. Which instead of being on a little square socket like this one, like modern processors, they're a cartridge type. And both machines, according to the adverts, are um, attested to BIOS. So that at least they turn on and go to BIOS. Um... Yeah, I always thought, you know, slot ones were quite rare and quite sought after with collectors now, so I'm surprised. Especially as I only paid 60 quid for one, because it is a little bit... Da That's why I bought both, because one was a little bit damaged. Actually, I think I paid 50 for that one, because I put in an offer. It was a buy it now or best offer. And I think I got the other one for 60 as well. Because that one is in way better condition. Um, yeah, so I'm quite looking forward to getting those because I've wanted a slot one machine for ages, but like I said, they are bloody hard to find. Because I keep saying, you know, most of the computer people I watch on YouTube are American, and I've seen quite a few, you know, acquire these slot one processor type machines from the late 1990s, and I'm just thinking, I want one. I had one years ago, many years ago, you know, and just like most people think, ah, oh, it's not worth anything, get rid of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it seems like these old machines, especially from the 1990s, are now starting to uh, demand a good price. Oh, I forgot to show you this on here as well. I didn't see this either in the advert. It's got a carry handle. Don't know if I'd actually fancy carrying this. Although, having said that, this was a hell of a lot lighter to carry than the box the laptops came in. But uh, yeah, I'm actually happy with my purchases. Jesus. I don't know what the main hard drive is because it's here. Um, oh, and I want to check that I put both screws for the CD-ROM drive in. Because I had to take the CD-ROM drive out to get the bloody motherboard out. But they both eject. I don't know if they'll read a disc. I haven't tried that yet. But they both eject at least. <sighs> this looks remarkably like a custom build for the business. I say it's a custom build because, you know, there is no stickers or anything on it. There's no brand name on it. I've just got a 50 times um, CD drive and a CD rewriter there. Or CD burner as we used to call them. Uh, yeah. Interestingly, I don't know what the purpose of this is. But with the... Uh, 
Ethernet card, we've got this cable as well. Let me just uh, show you. Just a three core cable. One end plugs on here and one end plugs on the motherboard. Yeah, I don't know what that's for. Quite a lot of upgradability on this motherboard. It's a full ATX motherboard. We've got three PCI slots occupied and three free, so if I could find some other stuff to chuck on it, I could. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say, whatever the hard drives are, they're actually quite quiet. They weren't making that much noise when I powered it on. I've got what looks like a spare space here as well. Although I have nowhere to put anything on the front. You put there where the hard drive is. So I'm assuming they put the hard drive here because of the ribbon cable, because I don't think that would have reached. No, that would have been quite a stretch between the two hard drives, so I'm guessing that's why they've put it there, otherwise you'd have had enough space for like a second floppy drive or something. I don't know why you'd want two on there. I can't remember if a zip drive would fit there or there, no. But yeah, there is another space to put there, because I assume the hard drive would go at the bottom, then you'd have, you know, whatever upgrades up there. I would make a nice Windows XP case, but I want to leave it as it is. Though I might... I don't want to reinstall Windows 98, because it's original, but I may just go through that and just remove... All of that business data, at least. You know, all them personal files and whatnot. I know it's probably decades out of date now, but uh, still, I'd rather do that. It's like with those laptops. People throw away laptops like that. They don't delete them. They don't wipe anything. The only people I ever know that often will remove the hard drives are those that resell them on eBay. You know? I guess either use them in other things or just for data protection. Um, and then there's other sellers like the one I've just bought these two job lots of laptops from who just sell them as they are. I don't know, I don't know if he just gets them in as trade-ins or something. Maybe he sells brand new laptops and he just trades in people's old ones. No idea. Well, as I'm just rambling now, and I was sort of leaning just off camera, there, I'm going to end the video here, so thanks a lot for watching everyone. If you like the video, you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And uh, if you liked what you've seen and you want to see more and other stuff, I don't just do computers, I do all sorts. It's just a, a bit of this, that and the other channel, this one. Um, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. It helps me out. It'll help you follow the channel and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm getting tired now. So, yeah. My mind seems everywhere. That's why. <laughs> um, video description. Down there, I will leave links to my other two YouTube channels. I've got a gaming channel and... Um, um, a channel for my Lego. I've also got a Discord server, which I will link to, and my Twitch channel, which I'll also link to down there, so feel free to check those out. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video, so bye!